Hi everyone! We're going to have a look, see what's coming through in the reading and what messages, information and clarity I have for you. So we will have a look, see what's going on. All right, so I've got your cards right here. Let's take a look. Um, by the way, this is for all star signs. If you're here, hello and welcome. This is probably a sign <laughs> that there are some messages for you. Um, if you wanted to win a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. If you wanted to purchase a private reading with me or any of the services, they are listed down below and on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com, tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, healing work, prayers, and so much more. It's all there as well as intention items which are handmade and meditated with in sage. There's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards and charms and candles, teas, sage bundles, so much. It's all on there and um, there's thousands of five-star reviews at the bottom of my website as well. Okay, so let's begin. Oh, that was a very eager card. That was... That card wants to be heard and seen and it is the High Priestess. Now that is a beautiful way to start. You know... The most important thing here, oh wow, okay, the most important thing here that you need to know, okay, because a lot of you are thinking about your life and you're thinking, I don't know if I'm on the right path, I don't know if I'm going in the direction that I actually want to be going in, a lot of you are also thinking, is love really going to happen in my life, is it going to manifest, is it going to progress, is it not, am I going to have happiness, love and joy that I want, a lot of you are thinking, I don't know what's happening and I just want you to know that I know this is going to sound so vague, it's going to sound so cliche, it's going to sound so like, oh Moonlight, that's just not why I came here, but I want to say it's going to be okay. Now that can seem very empty in some ways because it's just one of those things, isn't it, where a lot of people say that kind of phrase and you might be thinking, yeah, you're just saying it through the screen, but I really mean it. Like, if you can feel my energy through the screen reaching out to you, I will say that it's going to be okay. And that is the affirmation for your reading. It's going to be okay. Comment it down below if you claim this reading, if it resonates with you. So far, I haven't really explained the message, but, what, you know, if you find it resonates with you, um, definitely, you know, comment it down below, like the video. Um, the reason why I say I'm saying it's going to be okay is because you've dealt with so many people who are very, very... <sighs> They, they just don't get you, okay? They, they don't get you. They don't know how to deal with an energy like yours because you are empathic, okay? You feel emotion. You are supportive. You are kind. You are gentle. You are understanding. Yet you are very strong still. And definitely with the emperor as well, you have standards, right? And a lot of people that you've come across in your life have been very cold, very abrupt, very, let's say, immature, and also sometimes emotionally unavailable. They've not really understood you to your character. They've not understood the depths of you. Why? Because they are, to a degree, quite different to you. That's, again, no bad critique, but essentially, there are better situations that are going to come your way. There's going to be more happiness, more joy, more fulfillment, and more mutual relationships that unfold for you, including those in your family, including those in friendships, and also in regards to love and business opportunities, business partnerships, and also in regards to your career where you can have a job that actually gives to you, okay? It's not just you giving everything, giving your time, energy, effort, you know, um, and sacrifice, but also it gives back to you. It gives back to you emotionally, where you do things that you love, you are respected, you are understood, you are cared for in that environment. And I honestly do believe that the emperor here is a male figure, okay, who is going to come into your life, whether you are male or female, okay, or not, you know, there is a male figure that is going to come into your life, and this person is going to really just put things into perspective for you. Sorry, can I just spat on my table? Okay. I'm not really in, in front of you, like, physically, but, you know, I still feel bad <laughs> if that happens. It's just saying we're getting, like, wow, you know. Um, uh, <laughs> I, I'm getting passionate about the reading as I talk. So, Emperor is really nice, right? Emperor really represents a lot of security. Emperor also represents hard work. Yes, the Emperor can sometimes not be the most emotionally open person, but they take action. And do you know what? Actions speak louder than words. Actions are very important, um, if I may say so myself. Like, I do think that that's important, right? Um, it's not enough just to say, oh, yes, we would do this. It's about 
them actually doing it. And that's what I'm saying and seeing here, okay? And I'm talking about multiple areas of your life here. I'm talking about your love life where a person comes in and they actually you know, say that they, they want to commit to you and then they do commit to you. Someone who says that they love you in the beginning, but they follow it through consistently over the course of time. Also, um, in regards to work, you know, in the very beginning, they say you will be doing this, this and this. And actually, when then you start working, you actually do end up doing that, that and that, which they told you, not changing their mind. If you are getting things um, done, you know, it's gonna be in any area of your life again, but you know, and, and you're working with someone and they say, okay, for this price, you will get this, this, and this. Guess what? They actually do give you this, this, and this, and maybe a little bit extra, you know. Um, it's not a case of like, okay, we're going to give you this, this, and this, and then you're going to only end up with this. No, it will not happen. It will not happen, okay? Um, unless it's like a contract and there's loopholes and, you know, that whole situation. But I don't, I don't you know, I, I, I just don't see that you will be falling short for the things that you really want. Nine of swords, eight of swords, queen of swords. A lot of swords, a lot of swords. But this is also about avoiding people who are not good for you, who make you feel like this, okay? Um, because the Queen of Swords shows your own power, your own power to rise above situations that make you feel stuck, stagnant, and really stressed out. Um, you will be able to avoid situations that cause you this. Now, that's really powerful. And essentially, the Queen of Swords here is really about taking care of yourself, okay? So something you really need to know is that you need to take care of yourself in order for others to also mimic that energy towards you, okay? Because you can't really have this strong mutual love without first and foremost taking care of yourself and putting yourself first. This is really an important part. One pillar cannot support the entire roof because it could be, you know, heavy on this side as well. If you only have like one pillar here, then it's not really going to support the entire thing. It has to be mutual. Have, both sides have to pull that weight. And what I'm trying to say is that in the future, you're going to have people who pull the weight as well. It's not just you putting in all the work in projects. It's not just you doing everything. You will have help. You will have people who respect you, understand you, and are not going to take away things from you like finances or take away and, and give you so much stress and things like that. Like, that's not going to happen. Okay. Also, you will avoid people with a huge amount of spiritual ego and ego in general. Now, I know I mentioned spiritual ego, but ego, I'm sure many of you know, right? It's that sort of sense of pride. Um, spirit is different and ego is different, you know? Spirit is, is good, um, very positive, but ego is when it just becomes too much. Now, there are certain people that claim to be very spiritual that have a lot of ego, and that's called spiritual ego, right? Where they believe that they are above someone because they are very spiritual or they, they feel like they know everything and they're so awakened. Um, so you will actually be able to avoid those people, okay? And I also mean that in the sense of just people around you, you know, who may claim to be very awakened and, you know, but actually they're, they're causing more grief to other people. So the main thing here is that you will be able to avoid people who believe that they are always above everybody else, people that want to take control of you, people that want to take control of other people, people that literally make you feel so, so horrible within yourself. You will avoid those people completely by, you know, just really looking after yourself and doing your own spiritual practices as well. I don't know who needs to hear this, but there is someone here that needs to hear the fact that meditation, okay, can really help you because it's, uh, well, it's detachment and detachment is the key to the law of attraction. So even meditation can help you taking care of yourself, continuing um, to have, you know, sort of acceptance in your path right now only allows your path to get stronger. You may feel like you're on the wrong path, but remember, sometimes difficult paths can take you in the right direction. And that's the thing, okay? When you, like, for example, if you go on an airplane and you experience turbulence, it doesn't mean that you're on the wrong path, right? It means that you've just got to get through that little bumpy bit first and then it should all be okay. Um, it, it doesn't always mean that it's wrong. And, and that's the thing, right? Life is full of ebbs and flow. It's not always perfect. Um, a lot of people expect things to always be perfect. It's, it's, not, it's not life, um, but it can get better and it will get better. Da -da -da. That's the good news. That's the good news. And you will be respected for being the person that you are, which woo, is very important. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. So many cards just fell on the floor. Let me just go 
I'm going to take all of these. There's so many that fell on the floor. One second. I can't even lift them off the floor. Here we go. Okay, so let's just... I'm taking this top one. Oh, it's the leathers. Okay. Right. So, <laughs> I just got really excited about that. We do have them there as well. Listen, your love life will come together. Better opportunities will come your way and you will have so much more stability and security with mutual situations if you look at those pillars. Okay, so don't doubt yourself um, and say to yourself, I won't doubt myself and I won't doubt my path. You know, solid affirmation for you as well. Um, comment it down below, you know, of course, if it resonates with you or if you like this video um, or reading, should I say. But what I will say is that there's a really, really lovely energy here of things definitely getting you know better for you and you will feel so much more happiness and joy in the future so that's really what i wanted to say here um but let's have a look at your affirmation your little quote as well it says here you know your know your worth and then add tax and you know what people will be doing this towards you as well they will know your worth and then add <laughs> tax on top and treat you in accordance so that's it add tax there you go all right so this is your reading um, a bit of a different reading, I would say. It's not your kind of typical kind of like, this is going to happen, then this is going to happen, then this is going to happen. It was kind of like, um, you're on the right path kind of reading. So it's one of those things. It's one of those things. Um, we'll probably still make it onto my channel. I, I don't really make videos and then think, oh no, it's not going to make it on my channel. But sometimes there are certain readings where I feel like mm, there was not enough that came through in it. But this one, I think, there is enough that came through in it and someone needs to hear this okay so this is your reading don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and check out the description box below for information on personal services free reading giveaway and intention items which are on my website take care everyone and i will see you all very soon everything is always listed down below for you know services and things like that that i offer as well